It's the Fisher Cats Lesson of the Day. Today's lesson comes from our friends at Seacoast Science Center. Hey, everybody. Kate from the Seacoast Science Center. I'm sitting outside right now, as you can tell. And there's still a lot of snow on the ground. But I'm also seeing a lot of signs of spring and including at my birch feeder, actually. Um, so if you're bored and sick of streaming reruns like I am, how about a fun idea that might add a little zing to your daily walks and backyard explorations? Since we're staying healthy by sticking close to home, we thought it might be fun to pose a biodiversity challenge to everyone in the form of a bio blitz. What the heck is a bio blitz, you ask? <laughs> Fair enough. A bio blitz is when you see how many different species you can discover in a given era, area. So we do a bio blitz every year at Odium Point State Park, for example. Um, to date, we found a little over 2,300 species of plants and animals, um, including you know, insects, algae, intertidal invertebrates, different um, trees and shrubs and bushes and mosses and lichens. Um, mushrooms, mammals, all sorts of things. You name it, we have found it. Um, it's easy, it's fun. You choose an area to explore and then you take pictures of the different species that you find. So pro tip, signs of the animal or plant count too. So if you have a leaf or scat, you see some scat or poop, a seed or acorn, animal tracks, any of those things, they all count as signs of the species. So there are trips on, tips on how to explore responsibly and leave no trace below. Um, below you will also find a link to our BioBlitz story map and instructions on how you can upload images. Stay tuned each week for a new BioBlitz challenge. And thanks for supporting the Seacoast Science Center. I can't wait to see what you guys find. Have fun.